I, I gotta go talk to my supervisor before you can be out back, okay? He told me I'm on private property. Well, it's public access, but it is private property. It's like the library. Their private property, right? So is it whenever, private property? Yes, it's their property. They're staying their private property. And when it's found out that you've perjured, you, you've perjured yourself, that's a felony, and you'll be charged with that. This I got bad news for you, dumbass. Restricting or trespassing you from restricted property is not perjury. Good morning, Roughnecks. Wrangler here. And in the tradition of CRA audits, Rogue Nation, and Honey Boo Boo, freaking I am me audits, something like that. It'll be in the description. Um, goes and plays F around and find out at a correctional facility and gets trespassed. Shocking. Even more shocking is his lack of understanding of what the actual law is. Enjoy. Extremely readily apparent and that they do not want to fulfill or assist in public records requests at that facility. So I'm going to go in there and I'm going to see if that is in fact the case. No, I'm good. Appreciate it, though. Okay, and who are you? Uh, I'd really rather not give my name. Okay, I think I ran into you in Seattle once. At the other reentry center. Uh, if there's one there, I've never been there. Okay, um, are you trying to do a tour of the facility? Not really so much a tour. No, ma'am, he doesn't want a tour. He just wants to walk around doing whatever he wants until he causes a conflict and then he wants to just maximize that conflict and that confrontation for clickbait because he's a prank channel yeah okay um well i i gotta go talk to my supervisor before you can be out back okay sure yeah just i mean you'll see me in the orange jacket so easy to find me Why? So, this is state property. I need you to go ahead and go. Oh, yeah. I'm familiar with state property. I know. I don't understand what we're disagreeing about then. I need you to leave the facility because you don't have permission or approval to be here. I don't need permission or approval to be here. going to have to go ahead and sort of disagree with you there well legally speaking since it's a restricted facility that definitely hits the definition of non-public forum so swing and a miss strike one is there something that's leading you guys to believe that i can't be here this is a state-ran facility yeah no i totally agree with that i just i'm not understanding specifically so, I... so are you basically saying i can't be at any state-run facilities you cannot be at a Department of Corrections facility. Why is that? Without having a pass or an ID or having paperwork, like a background check ran on you. Yeah, I get that, but I'm saying there's like literally nothing that says that anywhere. Just give me a moment. Sure. We'll get this correct. Well, like I said, though, I mean, what for you specifically, I mean, I'm assuming, are you a corrections officer? I am. Okay. What's, what's your name, first of all? You don't need my name. Are you a state employee? I am. And you're not gonna provide your name and badge number? I don't understand why you're questioning me. Well, you're a state employee. I'm asking for you to declare who you are. Okay, so, I'll wait for my sergeant to come back out. Okay, so you are a corrections officer? I am a corrections officer. But you're refusing officer. to identify? I'm not refusing to identify. I have my badge. Okay, cool, well, I'll just. Sir, I need to make sure the residents don't come out because you don't, it, this is. Well, there's literally nothing to indicate that this is an off-limits area. Really? Where's the signage? There is literally nothing here. Okay, well, if that's the case, then I got I got to get you to leave because there's incarcerated individuals here, so we can't. I can't have you here. Why? 
There's nothing that says or limits my ability to be here. But this is a prison. First of all, I want to be really clear. I have no ill will or issue with anyone here. I'm not looking to cause problems. I'm not looking to create problems okay. for you guys. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. But without conflict or problems, how will you get clickbait for your prank channel? I, I guess this is a prison, whatever. But you go to a standard prison. And yeah, you yeah, see yeah. The, you yeah. Know, the and fence like line, I say, and this is you can't go here. This and, is not. This is not your, your your standard prison. Like I say, this is a reentry center. Yeah, and I totally get that, and that's part of the reason why I'm here today. <laughs> I mean, no. doesn't really matter to me. No, um, without pre-approval from DOC, you can be here. So yeah, I mean that's there's a lot of paperwork um, that um, comes with you being able you. to walk on this property, and I don't want no problems either. Um, sure. But you have to leave. You have and to what, leave. What's and that's three times. What's leading you to believe that? This is DOC. This is private property. Oh, you cannot this is be private here. Property. You, it is private property. Really? You cannot be here without pre-approval. You have to go. And um, the police are on their way. So we just we ask that you just leave on your own, please. Oh, I'll wait for the police. I'm not oh, going to run. Who really is is there's a really good reason why I'm here doing my job today. Because your mom interrupted your daily activity of playing video games and watching porn in her basement and told you to get out of the damn house? While conspiring with local law enforcement are going to violate my liberties to be here doing what I'm doing today. Or nothing's going to change. Local law enforcement is going to realize I absolutely can be here doing what I'm doing. And then you guys are just going to have to it's contend a, with totally that. Fine. Are you English or retarded? <laughs> Hey, how's it Officer going? Officer Lucas Police Department. All right. What's going on today? I'm just working. Okay. Know that that's not true. This is where they live. Um, okay. You mind giving me your information? I do. Okay. Are you detaining me? No. Ross, you on the same page now? You understand what I'm saying? Are you Are you going to leave now? I've got business to do here. Okay, so you will be detained if they trespass you, and then once you're trespassed on private property, you are trespassing at that point. So Luke, let me help yes. you out with this, okay? Okay. You're a city police officer, right? Correct. And you're stating this is private property. This is... Department of Corrections. This also, is state this property. Is, this, this is, is your parking lot? Yes, this, this is, is your all property all that we're all standing property. on right yeah, now? Literally yeah. a sign that says no, no, we're in the city limits yeah, right now. Point. It says what? No author. Whether it's their private property, right? So is it whenever, private property? Yes, it's their property. They're saying their private property. Luke, okay. you're going down the wrong path. You got a sergeant you can call? Yes, actually he's on the way. Good. Um, but either way, uh, if they want you trespassed for any reason, they're available to trespass you. And at that point you are trespassing, okay. which is So here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna wait for the sergeant to get here. Okay. But very likely what's gonna happen is I'm gonna require the no trespass warning in sure. accordance 985280. Okay. Let me be clear here. When you sign that in accordance with 985280, there's a perjury statement at the bottom. If when you swear to that for that perjury statement, this ends up being incorrect. That's I don't, I don't even know what you're talking about. That's a gross just, misdemeanor. I've just asked you to leave. That is it. We've just a minimum of six times by my count. But frauditors are stupid. Hold the right to do so. Oh, you're right. I absolutely don't disagree with you, Luke, about private property. This right. is not private property. That's the thing. That this agent of the state agency that mm -hmm. she is an employee of, she is a state corrections officer, mm -hmm. has made it clear that this is, you know, assaulted or somebody, whatever the crime is. Unless I've committed a crime, mm -hmm. you can't remove me from that property. Under any circumstance, other than as well time place manner restrictions i don't think so yes they can but since you want to bring up time place and manner restrictions let's discuss that for just a second one the time since that is restricted property and it's a limited to non-public form you can only be on there doing what you're doing at their discretion uh place obviously it's a restricted area so that's not going to work manner it goes back to what you're doing and when you're doing it in your case, what you're doing is you are photographing and you are videoing the perimeter and the intimate details of the operations of a correctional facility. That's a no-go. So strike three, dumbass, you're out. Now, if this facility had, for example, 
over there a sign that said authorized personnel only or there's a big post right here that said that authorized personnel only absolutely I couldn't come back here I, w I don't argue that at all that's that's you know very obvious in fact plenty of examples of that they told me I'm on private property. Well, it's public access, but it is private property. It's like the library. Anybody can go there, but you can still be trespassed. For any reason? Yes. And you sure you want to stick with that, Sergeant Holden? Absolutely, that's the law. 905280 is really clear that that's not the case. Okay, but I'm not going to get into some... Okay, it's not private property. That's, that's the thing we're talking about here. Okay. That's what I was telling Luke. This is not private property. Mm -hmm. This is public property. Okay. Time, place, manner restrictions can be placed on public property, changing it from a traditional or designated public forum to a limited public forum, they have not met that criteria. That threshold hasn't been met. They've done it for vehicles. They have not done it for personnel. So There's no signage here that says that. It's public, uh, there's public access, like in just about any place you can think of, that's public access. It'll put signs on every part of public access property to explain that. But when you're asked to leave, then you do have to leave because it's private property. Okay, look, I'm not going to get into some fight with you guys or anything yeah, like that. Here that. However, one of you folk, one of you folk are going to sign the perjury statement for 905280. So I'll take the no trespass warning. Whoever is the agent for this facility, I want to sign that perjury statement. I'll explain what he's doing. This is a typical frauded remove when they get in the damn cookie jar slammed on their hand. Um, basically, what he's doing is he's attem attempting to intimidate the employees there, the see the uh, doc staff by telling them if you do this i'll get you done up like this he's threatening them with felony charges if they do their job and enforce the law and that's a typical frauded or move it's like all these other assholes once they get popped what happens they take it to youtube they start getting you idiots to call flood them and by you idiots i mean their supporters not mine and they get you to call flood and pester and harass and badger these people until they finally go, oh, this just isn't worth the time. And that's just not how that's going to work. You will do it. And then I will take this down to the city office and you're going to get hammered for that. Okay. That's a felony. Okay. So I'll take the no trespass warning. I'm not going to provide ideas. I don't have to do that for the statute. Awesome. You just have to leave. Okay. But I want that and I need the perjury statement. You want Simon. what? Huh? You want what? I want the... No trespass warning yeah, that's required to be you're given. You're being given a verbal warning. I need the perjury statement signed. That's required by them. No, there's not. You might want to look at the RCW on the book, man. I've been doing this for 22 years. I'm pretty familiar with the law. You're obviously... not familiar you, with this. So you need to leave because they're asking. Okay, and if I don't leave right now, what happens? You could be placed under arrest. I will be arrested be, if I don't leave? Be. Okay. Am I going to be placed under arrest if I don't leave? If you want to push it that far, we can. Then we'd be forced to identify you. We'd be forced to take you into custody. Okay. You don't have to book So I can't complete my public records request that I need to do here today? You can do whatever you need to do, but obviously not at this point. You've kind of worn out your welcome. They want you to just leave. So maybe by phone call or however else you want to act. I'm allowed to do it in person. I need to do it in person. Not once you've been trespassed, you bloody moron. I'm here. It looks like you're not doing it today. When can I come? When is the police department saying I can do my public records? Well, process? they're asking you to leave, so I guess you'd have to come back when they allow you to come back. Okay, what's the what's the duration of time for the you'd trespass? You have to call them and ask them. It's up to them. That has to be explained to me now. I need the parameters. No, How long you're is being it? asked to leave now, and so you'll okay. have to then contact. If I'm them. being asked to leave, mm -hmm. I'm going to politely decline the request. Am I being ordered the off the property? You're being asked to leave. If you refuse to leave, then you'll be trespassing. Okay. Then it'll be a crime. Am I getting a trespass warning, though? Verbal warning. And if I return or stay, I will be placed under arrest? You certainly can. Will I? It, it, we're trying to get cooperation out of you. We're not trying to as of, get as you of in right trouble. Now, after your verbal warning, you are trespassing. If we keep doing this dance and you want to stay, it can be placed under arrest. It can be reported to the prosecutor. But at this point, you are trespassing. You have been given your verbal warning. So the no trespass warning has happened? Yes. Okay. Yes. Hey, Luke. Honestly, between you and Sergeant Holden, you're the you're being the re the most reasonable. I'm not saying you're being reasonable, but you're the most reasonable of the two. Just because he's a sergeant doesn't mean he's right. And I'm just wanting to I just want to make clear for you right now that his statement is factually incorrect. I guess somebody thinks they understand the art of war. What is this divide and conquer?
What I'm asking you to do is actually take a moment. I'm off the property. There's no jeopardy of the trespass continuing at this point because I've been given a no trespass warning under threat of arrest to leave. You may want to call his boss and clarify this. Hey, don't, that's and that's where we're going to wrap that one up. And it, it's, to me, that's just funny as hell. He literally didn't like the answer that the officer was giving him, which was the same as the DOC staff. So he wanted his manager because he's a little tiffy bitch. And then when the sergeant came out and basically verified what the officer and the DOC staff had been telling him, now he's going to go behind the sergeant's back. Hey, officer, you need to call your boss because he's wrong. What a bunch of clowns. Anyway, they're all going down eventually. It's Wrangler. I'm out of here. Y'all have a great Saturday.